Bryce, that's Jason Bourne. Hey, hey guys, Jason Bourne here with another crazy uh, card, card trick. You guys like card tricks. Uh, so today I'm going to show you another super easy card trick. If you guys tend to like card tricks, you should totally subscribe to the channel because then you will learn more card tricks. And while you're at it, you should check out the uh, description for links on how to learn even better card tricks on uh, websites that I made. So here today we're going to be using the um, Inspire playing cards uh, to hopefully inspire you to um... So I'm going to use these playing cards to illustrate a little bit of an imagination experiment. I'm very excited as you could tell uh, uh, by the bulge. So here, uh, sir, go ahead, touch any card you want. And of course, the spectator happens to touch uh, this card over here, the Ace of Clubs. This is shown to everyone. Hopefully you have a uh, large audience because magic is very popular. And this card is subsequently lost in the middle of the deck. So now the spectator is just thinking of a card uh, and you tell them to imagine uh, their card turning face up in the deck. So the deck is face down right now. You want them to imagine their card turning face up in the deck. So the spectator does this and you go, Wait, this isn't a joke. All right, Mr. Spectator, this isn't a joke. You have to take this seriously. Um, so you spread the cards face up and you notice that there is in fact a joker uh, face up, which you tell him, see exactly, this is what happens when you take it as a joke. Uh, the joker turns face up. That's not what I wanted. That's not uh, your card, so you didn't pick the joker. But I'll tell you what, uh, what I want you to do is seriously try again. So generally try, imagine your card turning face up in the deck, go ahead. Uh, oh good I got the vibrations there and now when you spread the deck the uh, one card that's face up is in fact the spectators selected card thus proving that you uh, will never have a significant other in your life you're always gonna rely on magic as a crux because you have no social skills but you did have the ability to find a card so that's a plus The magician absorbs the mango, penetrating his pores and giving him his power. Oh, hey guys, Jason Bourne here again. I'm sure you guys want to learn how to do that crazy card trick, right? Well, if you guys liked it, make sure to also like the... <coughs> oh man, almost came out there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you how that card trick is done, guys. Like, you need a little, bit of a, a little bit of a setup. A little bit of a setup, as we call it in the magic business. It's not that much of a setup, so you shouldn't complain. All you need to do is grab the Joker and turn it face up on the bottom of the deck. Now, one of my favorite type of effects are reversals. Because I'm biased, because it's the first trick I ever learned. It's that classic, pick a card. Go ahead, put it anywhere in the deck, and of course you secretly turn the deck over and their cards reversed. However, I've come up with many variations of that plot over the years, and this is just uh, one that I like because uh, it kind of instills this notion of the spectator's imagination manifesting in uh, actuality, in this case, manifesting within the confines of a deck of playing cards. So that's, uh, that's one bit that I particularly enjoy about this effect. Oh man, oh yeah. Oh, how the years have diminished my, my potence. So that's the setup. You have that card face up on the bottom. And now you're going to spread the cards and have the spectator select any card they want. So they, they go ahead and select any card they want. In this case, let's say they select the Jack of Clubs. So you show this card around to the, the mounds of spectators interested in your prestidigitation. And here, all you have to do is simply cut this card into the deck now what that does is that that's going to place the joker on top of their card now of course because the spectator is going to have hands and uh you're not going to be a lonely person doing a tutorial with nobody else in the house what's going to happen is that you're going to have the ability to swing cut the cards so you're going to be able to swing cut the cards and have the spectator replace the card in the middle of course placing the joker on top but i did a one-handed cut because uh much like every other magician 
I'm a... So this card gets put in the middle of the deck, of course, putting the Joker on top. And that's, uh, that's pretty much most of the method. The other part is just a little bit of a slight. I'm going to show you guys right now. But you see, the trick is very easy to do. You tell him, sir, I want you to imagine your card turning face up. Don't... This isn't a joke. Of course, you need to say that line because when you spread the cards, it's going to be a joker. That's showing that they, in fact, did take it as a joke. And now you can, you know, make fun of them and say, hey, you know, this is why your mom doesn't love you. All right. And this is why she put you in that special class. Um... So here, what's going to happen is that when you square up the Joker, you're actually going to square it up with a break underneath the card below the Joker, which if you haven't guessed it, is the spectator's selected playing card. So now, guess what? When you're showing this card and you square it up, all you need to do is turn this packet face up and insert it in the gap between the rest of the deck and those two cards, and you're good to go. So you're going to insert it in the gap. The way we do this is that we're going to pull down for a pinky so that this gap becomes even bigger much like uh sarah johnson in the uh fifth grade dance so uh, here you're going to insert this face up packet between this gap what that's going to do is that that's going to place the joker at the face of this packet however secretly behind the joker is a face down selected card of the spectator of course you want to make sure that the deck is squared up but now when you turn this whole thing back face down on top of the deck You've surreptitiously turned over the spectator's card. That's the that's the hot slide here. So one more time for those of you guys uh, from Europe that need a little bit more time understanding things. Uh, here you're just spreading to the Joker. You're getting a break. You're turning this packet face up and inserting it in the gap right there that you've created by pulling down with your pinky. So now you show the Joker. You turn this face down on the deck. You tell him to imagine their card turning face up. Of course, when you spread the cards, guess what? There's going to be their card and their card alone face up in the deck. thus showing that you have, in fact, uh, been the magical way. That's a that's a double backer. Don't think that, you know, you end clean. You do end clean. So don't think you don't end clean. Uh, but that shows the uh, spectator that their imagination is powerful. You know, their imagination is a powerful thing and not to take it for granted. So that's the uh, that's the trick. Oh, man, you guys really got a uh, got your money's worth here, right? You didn't have to pay for anything apart from uh checking out pickcake.me maybe copping some merch checking out some of my projects you guys really didn't have to pay for much right but you got a great car trick you're welcome you're welcome go practice it make sure to uh to um do you do it justice do it justice right a lot of people think that they could just do a trick after they see a tutorial you need you need practice you need practice uh so yeah there you go uh that's that's a trick i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna go figure out different ways to ingest in an expo marker uh but be able to uh, with my flatulence write on a whiteboard uh hopefully in a color that corresponds to the marker that i ingested and not the food that i ate again when i see you Shit, girl.